Today in this video we will concentrate about the important topics to concentrate in prosthodontics especially in complete denture in an exam point of view. We will deal with certain topics to learn or concentrate on before exams. It is not that all the questions will come from only these topics but if you make sure that you concentrate on these topics especially before exam when you have very less time you can be sure that your score will be pretty good. Now let us start with the complete denture and that too in complete denture we will first divide it into certain topics and these topics will coincide with the steps in the fabrication of a complete denture. You should start with usually the diagnosis and treatment planning before the fabrication of complete denture after which we need to prepare the mouth to receive a complete denture after which we have to start with impression, casts, the record basis and occlusal rinse. After the fabrication of an occlusal rim, we go for the recording of jaw relation after which we articulate the jaw related casts along with the occlusal rims. Then we will move to the teeth setting. Before knowing the teeth setting principles, we need to know the occlusion and the concepts of occlusion, what is a balanced occlusion and such things. And also we should know about the selection of artificial teeth which we will arrange in the teeth setting and teeth arrangement principles will follow that. After arranging, we need to do a mock-up trial or setup trial or try-in as it is commonly called before the processing and uh, fabrication of a complete denture. Then after processing, we have the uh, denture uh, insertion steps. After insertion, we need to do a post insertion review and also repair works follow that. So as you could see, the topics in complete denture follows the protocol or the steps in which we fabricate a complete denture. So let us start with the important topics in each heading, important questions which can be asked under each heading, starting from diagnosis and treatment planning now. On the whole, diagnosis and treatment planning can be asked as an essay question. In that chapter we need to concentrate on certain five marks which is the importance of examination for example and the mental attitude classification given by Dr. M. M. House the RRR the residual rigid resorption not the RRR movie here the residual rigid resorption and the classification given by Atwood also can be asked as a five mark question the residual alveolar ridge on the whole and also moving on to the next chapter we have the mouth preparation which can be asked as a 10 mark on the whole and pre prosthetic surgeries and certain surgeries in particular can be asked as a 5 mark we also need to know about the sequel of wearing a complete denture for a longer time when the patient usually reports for the second time of a repair of a complete denture we need to know what could be the consequences of a complete denture for a longer time there could be denture stomatitis, denture irritation hyperplasia, commonly known as the epulous fissuratum, sometimes a flabby ridge as a consequence of a combination syndrome. We already have a separate video on what is combination syndrome. The next topic is the important, is a comparatively important topic which deals with the impressions. We also need to know the GPT definition, the latest GPT definition of any important topic we learn. Regarding impression, we need to know the definition of impression, what is a primary impression, secondary impression also. Then the principles of impression making and the objectives of impression making are really important. There are five objectives, mainly you can use the mnemonic PRESS to remember them. The PRESS stands for preservation of residual structures, R stands for retention, E for aesthetics, S for stability and another S for support. In these five objectives, the retention, stability and support has the capacity to be asked as a separate 5 mark question as it is an elaborate topic. Then moving on to the classification of impressions, we need to know the uh, different types, different bases on which the classifications are made, among which the theories of impression making, depending on the theories of impression making, how the classification is made, it could be asked as a separate 5 mark question and there is a separate video to deal with that check it out please then before moving on to the casts we need to know about the anatomical landmarks of maxilla and mandible check out the video on anatomical landmarks also then uh, in particular certain anatomical landmarks form an important uh, five mark question regarding maxilla we need to know the anatomical landmark namely maxillary tuberosity posterior palatal seal and how to record it and hamular notch in mandible we need to know the Alveololingual sulcus, buccal shelf area and the retromolar pad. In common, we need to know the features of a stress bearing area which could also be asked in viva uh, manner of view. Then as far as secondary impression is considered, we need to know the special tray, custom tray, how to fabricate it and so on. Border molding, which is a prior step to the secondary impression making. In border molding, we need to know the techniques 
and uh, followed by which we need to know the occlusal rim fabrication which is an uh, important 5 mark question. In the next video, we will see about the important topics starting from recording jaw relation. Stay tuned. Thank you.